this story time, Margaret Choi is going to have our children's story and her story. So if the young people would grab the blue baskets and go around and take the offerings for the youth, they will come forward and Margaret will bring the beautiful story. Spirit of the Lord is on one of them. 
and he'll be the next king. So Jesse brought out his sons, one after the other. Um, there was one son who was named Eliab, and um, Samuel said to himself, this is surely the one that um, God has called, because he's tall, he's handsome, when he talks he seems very intelligent, he has to be the one that uh, God wants for king. But do you think he was the one? No, he wasn't. And he went through all the different sons, and he, Samuel was very puzzled, but God had not given him a clear impression that any of these were the one. And <clears throat> Samuel said, are you sure these are all of your sons? And what did Jesse say? There's one more. And who was that one more? That was David. And how old was David at that time? Was he a big man? No, he was just a boy, right? He was just a shepherd in the, um, out taking care of sheep. It didn't seem like he had a very important job, right? How could a, a boy like him become king? But when um, David came out, the Spirit of the Lord came on Samuel, and Samuel said, this is the one that God has chosen. And so he poured oil, anointed David, and many years later, David actually became king of the whole um, country of Israel. Um, and there is a, a memory verse that goes with this. And would anyone like to read the memory verse? People look at the outside of a person, but the Lord looks at the heart. 1 Samuel 16, 17. Great. So that is something really for us to remember. Um, if we look at someone, we might think, oh wow, that person is really handsome or beautiful, they're really smart, but inside, they may not be very nice. They may not be following the Lord. We might see someone else who seems like, oh, they don't seem like they have very much talent, they're not very smart, or... They're very young, but they could actually do a lot for Jesus, and they um, are very, very beautiful inside. And so that's something I want you to remember. When you see a rock or you see some fruit or something, things are not always what they appear. And we need to also look at people just as God sees them through his eyes. Okay, does anyone want to pray? Okay, I'll pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much that your eyes are x-ray and you can see right to our hearts. Um, please be with us today and help us to see through your eyes. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.